All right, so let's remember we need a really, really soft bow hold, so light that if you let go even just a little bit more, the bow starts to slip out of our hands. So let's make sure that we're all trying that. There you go. How's it going, Anna? I'm having kind of a hard time seeing, seeing your bow. Can you hold it up just a little bit more, Anna, your bow? There you go, and I can see your hand. Beautiful. All right, and what you want to do is you want to make sure that you are maintaining your bow hold as you're letting the stick slide down and down and down and down. So what we don't want is something like this. See where we start sliding and then, oops, that happens. See that? Okay, that's a beautiful job. Okay, now let's talk again about the concept of ricochet, a bounce. Do we all know how our bow bounces? Because this is really important for all bouncing strokelets. Spiccato, sautille, everything. How does our bow bounce? What is the mechanics behind it? Anyone have any, any ideas on how this works? If not, that's okay. Okay, so when I loosen my stick, you will see that our bow obviously is curved inwards towards the hair, right? And that is when it's at its, uh, at its loosest. When I, am, when I tighten the hair, the stick gets straighter and straighter and straighter. And what that does is it creates tension on the stick. The hair gets tighter, but the, but the, the stick also gets firmer. And that allows for, for the hair to bounce off of our string. All right, first things first, let's revisit our bow hold one more time. Let's make sure that it's beautifully nice and soft and super, super, super light. There you go. Okay, and the only thing that I'm gonna ask you to go do now is to literally tap the string, see, like this, Tap the string and let your bow just bounce back up. All right, don't be afraid. I can see some of you very gingerly dropping your bow, holding your bow, literally drop your bow onto the string and let it bounce back up. Drop your bow and let it bounce back up. Don't be afraid, you're not gonna hurt your bow. Good, next Anna. Make sure that every single time that you, you go for a ricochet, that you're doing the exact same thing. That's how you get really, really accurate, even sounding ricochet, okay? That's my, that's my only feedback for you. It's really very good. Questions? All right, Natalia. Again, because it's your carbon fiber bow, you might you might be starting too high up. Okay, just try the first couple notes one more time and you know start from a little lower. Better. Hear that difference? Yeah. Okay, Maya. Maya, you did something really cool. You played a faux ricochet. 
<laughs> could you the which is awesome now the assignment though is to play two ricochet and then one up bow so you're always starting down bow okay could you try that please You know what? I'm going to let you practice that for a moment because you practice something different and I'll come back to you. Okay. All right. Autumn. Okay. Um, it's a little bit uneven, right? It sounds a little uneven. Yeah, I kind of did three in the beginning. Oh, oh, perfectly fine. Can you try twos now? Make sure that you your contact point is consistent for every note. So between notes, you you change your contact point a little bit. There you go. That's it. All right, Maya, you ready? Very good. 